Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do this project share really quickly because I am getting ready to send this off. So, um, I am participating in Rose, who is also known as Crafty Barbie. Um, 86 on Instagram. I believe it's also her channel on YouTube, but in either case, I will link her channel down below. But this is my loaded envelope that I made for my partner, who is Judy over at my scrapbook loft, and I will also link her channel down below. But um, this is the loaded envelope I have made for her. So the swap is a galentine swap and I um, was required to make a loaded envelope filled with at least a three tag minimum tag flip, a memory dex card, and three embellishments. So the only thing this is missing are the embellishments, um, but I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna be sending um, some uh, some bows something like this something like the ones Lori made me but just a single um, what are these called single loop bow and um, in gold and also like a fuchsia or hot pink um, not hot pink but you know like a dark pink magenta color uh, glitter bows so um, I just want to keep it simple I don't really know what else to kind of make for her I don't really know too much about her um, other than um, she likes uh, bows and rosettes and then um, she did mention that she might not have a lot of Valentine stuff so I don't really want to get into too much Valentine's because I, I have already so I want to give her something she can use for other crafts and things like that. So yeah, so some gold and magenta glitter bows um, that I'll be making for her. But this is the tag flip that I made for her and the little ribbon dangle that I have for her. So I did include some pom-pom trim as well and some of this ribbon she doesn't like like sloths and mermaids and stuff like that so I didn't want to put the sloth I didn't want to put anything like trendy um, and too young so this is the first tag and now I gifted her this tag it was actually made by um, crafting with Liller I just love all the um, layers to it and really all she did was layer some ephemera and then um, there's a doily back there a wooden heart probably from the dollar or foam heart and just some like ephemera pieces a puffy sticker here and some enamel dots then she did some stitching and then another um, ephemera piece there and a puffy sticker here that rhinestone heart and then look at this she glued on these banner pieces and it looks like a staple but it's actually just part of the picture so these are ticket embellishments the die she probably got from Allie that everyone has so she's not crafting right now I believe and then she used some trim to you know use as the ribbon but she did staple it on with that mini stapler and I believe she's not crafting right now so I just wanted to give her a shout out as well because she makes really beautiful crafts I'm really sad she isn't crafting right now so yeah so that's that you know life happens guys um, the second tag I kind of made this out of the little wooden hearts from the Dollar Tree. These are the stickers. But on the back, I did place a felt heart and then I added some twine so that it could mix up her little um, tag flip. This next one is just, I just took some cardstock, um, plain cardstock. So this one's pink 
and then I use the cut aparts from the Echo Park. I'm not sure what collection I use, but it came in a pack that I bought from um, Tuesday morning. So I use this cut apart, Happy Valentine's Day, and then I put her name on here. Judy and these stickers I got from Target Dollar Spot last year that I never used. The next one is Hugs and Kisses, and um, I wanted to keep it kind of plain, so I wanted to keep all of these pretty much plain, and so I just used the cut-aparts and the, you know, this big bow on here that was gifted to me, and then this um, jemmy I got from Hobby Lobby. And then these, I believe, were last year. They didn't come out with them this year, which I was sad about. Then this, I did um, use one of the Dollar Tree hearts, wooden hearts, and then I just added the felt um, heart on there, and then the X and O from the Alpha stickers I had, and then these stickers came from the 99 cent store. They're kind of puffy, but they're holographic. So I thought that was neat to add to like, you know, the top of the the tag. And then some pom-pom trim, of course, at the bottom just to mix it up a little bit. And this one is red. And then the last one is pink again. And um, for this one, I probably will add some enamel dots here, but um, these are some puffy stickers that I got from Target Dollar Spot that came with this mini envelope um, sticker. I thought it was adorable, you guys. So I glued on, this usually comes off, but I glued it on so that you can see the heart and it doesn't slide in, but it is a sticker. She can peel it off. It's a dimensional sticker and she can just peel it off and use it if she wants to, but I just thought that was really cute. Like I said, I'll probably add some enamel dots there just to add some dimension to it. But yeah, I wanted to keep it really simple. The only embellished one is the one that, you know, was gifted to me that I gifted to her. So yeah, I left it at four tags. It's a three tag minimum. Um, the next piece is, I'll tell you guys about the, the envelope when I'm done, but this is what I got her for like candy, M&Ms. M&Ms are really simple. Everybody loves them, so I hope she'll like them. And then um, this I got from the Target Dollar Spot last year. Um, it's one of those boxes, Sending You Love, and it's a perfect little box for this. This is also a treat I sent her, Muddy Buddies. Then we were also asked to include a pair of socks and a pen from the Dollar Tree. Now, the Dollar Tree didn't come out with Valentine pens that I saw. So um, I just got her one of these neat pens that they weren't really, um, they only come out, came out with a few of them. And I just thought it's perfect because she can use it whenever she wants to. Not just for, you know, um, Valentine's Day. And I just thought this was a cool little snack. Money Buddies, peanut butter and chocolate. So, I'll put, probably be putting my letter or card in here for her. So, that's that. Sending you love. So cute, right? From Target Dollar Spot, you guys. Then I know that she wears glasses because she does have glasses in her profile picture. So I decided to get her an eyeglass pouch that I thought was really cute that I found um, at the Valentine section, the Dollar Tree. And now they're run out, so I'm really glad I got them. And then um, I got her these socks. I got these socks kind of last minute. I wanted to get some better ones, but because I'm not really going out, I just grabbed what I could um, very quickly. Um, California, you guys, is one in three in every Californian is positive. So I'm really trying to be careful not to be out there and, you know, when I don't need to be. So um, about her envelope, this is, like I said, I use the Echo Park 
collection. I want to say it's called Be Mine, but I'm really not sure. So I added some picks from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to add pink and red. And then um, these stickers came with the collection. And um, this is, um, I just fussy cut the, the, these lovebirds. It reminded me of her and her husband that she told me a little bit about. I added some sticker hearts and then this came from um, the 99 cent store. I don't know if you guys remember it from my haul, but it is a like a wooden piece that you can hang. So what I did was I just unscrewed the, um, the hanging portion on the back and then I just glued this on her envelope. I thought that came out really, really cute. Um, and then I put a little heart right there just to add because it was kind of, um, the glitter was coming off there. And it's not loose glitter, so that's good. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then the last thing is um, this is the memory decks card I made her. You guys, this is the heart memory decks card that I shared with you guys in my little haul. Um, as you can see, I used one of Lori's flowers just because um, all I saw was an empty space and I didn't know I was overwhelmed. I didn't know how to fill it. Um, and I didn't want to do the shaker, you know, for it right now. So what I did was I used some trim I had and I put it across. I was originally gonna put it around, but it was too much. So I just put it across and then I added the heart, which I thought, I mean the flower, which I thought came out really beautiful. And then um, I just added a little dangle here on the side. And um, yeah, and then I, um, this was originally white and I just glued on some red cardstock on there. It actually came out really kind of messy because the glue, you guys can't see it on camera, but there's like glue spots on it. But I just figured, you know, she, it, it happens, you guys, you know, we're human, we're crafters, we're not perfect. Ooh, this is my little um, bag topper that I made her just from the paper collection, the same collection, and um, I wanted to keep it all in the same collection. I added some felt sticker hearts and just that 14 tab, and then I used one of my gold paper clips to hold it together. And then this paper, I actually, this um, wrapping I actually also got, or packaging, sorry, I actually also got from Target. I want to put it this way so the hearts peek through but yeah I got it from Target and it's supposed to be cookie baking wrapping I decided to use it for fun Valentine wrapping and um, I think that came out really really cute so this is um, originally like a washi piece kind of a washi sample piece but I just decided to use it as a bag topper and then um, yeah and then I added a, a sticker from Hobby Lobby at the bottom that says Happy Valentine's Day and then I just for her packaging I just kind of filled it with um, sequins so that yeah so I'm gonna put that in here. We're gonna pack it together while I'm explaining everything to you guys. It is double-sided. Um, the paper that I used, it did have a side to it already, so I didn't need to glue on another piece. So, I had so much fun making it, you guys. Um, funner than I expected it to be, actually. And um, actually, I had another envelope in mind. I originally was going to go with like a shabby Victorian envelope with like gold foil and stuff, but I decided to just use a Valentine themed one. It's the only Valentine themed um, 
paper I had, collection I had, because like I told you guys, I'm not really going out. So, um, yeah, so I was lucky I had something for her. So, yeah, guys, um, pack this and pack her thing and then probably pack this in the back. So I really do like how it came out. Um, I am probably going to, maybe I'll just leave that separate because I still have to pack her embellishments, which I have to make. Um, I'm probably gonna make those in the morning on my way to the post office. So um, yeah, so I really hope you guys like this video and um like what i created for her and um i want to thank you guys for joining me and um if you like this video and other videos like these please like this video comment and subscribe to my channel thanks so much have a good one bye